assalamu alaikum guys uh, today we'll be making search bar in react native from scratch uh, basically there are libraries out there that get the job done for you but uh, when you need to customize component according to your needs or according to your design team's design you can't use a library sometimes the design does not approve of the library so uh, at those points you'll just have to throw all those libraries in the bin and just get your hands dirty yourself okay diving right into this uh, i created a separate folder uh, you know i just created the basic hierarchy of the application uh, you should just go with the hierarchy uh, throwing the components right in the root or one folder is, is not a good approach don't do that okay here i made two separate files one is a component and one is a screen and uh, i created the home screen and imported in my app.js file which is basically your main file then I went ahead and imported my search bar component in my home screen. Uh, you can import this component wherever you want to use it. Uh, you, or you might use it in multiple places in your application. That's the purpose of making it a standalone component. So I'm giving it some props right now. It might look random to you in first, uh, but if you look into it, the value props hold the query that's written in your search bar. You get the value from the search bar component and use that query in your main file to update your search logic any how you want it the updates function basically does that job for you you can put your any logic any logic there according to your that component and whatever and that makes the search bar truly standalone you can tell i'm not a pro i'm just a simple naive programmer which is here to teach you some wrong techniques about how to just get your job done I quickly went ahead and gave some style to my header where I'm using my search bar. You don't have to do it because you'll be using it in your application. So I'm just giving it some view. This is how I'm looking to execute my search bar. Uh, it will be your first view which contains three further views. Uh, the first view is going to be a blank white canvas for us which is going to give you an illusion of a search bar hole itself. Right? And it should not going to be a view and a text input and a view at the end too. The first view contains an image of our search icon. The second view is text input and the third view at the end will be a touchable view which is basically our clear icon. So let's execute it. I'm very much rushing and giving it basic styles. I have to make the first canvas view to display a row. So three components can be in a row. Then you can give some styles to your image uh, and then, then we can go ahead and text input. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm quickly adding styles to my text input. I'm just giving it a background color for now because I, I want to make the three views that are our container views and I give them their parent styles first so they can take the view position and then we can go ahead and put components in there and style parent views. So uh, I gave uh, three different colors to our three views and two Now that they are styled, I am removing the background color property uh, because we have them where we want them. And so now we're back to our text input. I'm initializing the on change text function here. When we enter a letter in our search bar now, it will trigger this function and on triggering this function we can uh, update our query value now quickly going back to our home screen we are giving a top we are uh, we want to give a top margin to our search bar we kept the styles here so we can style our search component according to our screen where we want some top space bottom space everything we can customize that from here we called our update search function in on change text so we can uh, send back our query to our home screen so we can use whatever search logic we want in there and i quickly placed a placeholder and a, a clear button i changed the view to touchable opacity so we can make it a button and i, I gave it an on press i gave it its own on press function so whenever a user clicks on it it clears the query value we want a clear button to only be available when there's some query in our search bar not without it but now you can see when we give null in case of no text uh, it just flickers a bit uh, to avoid the clicker we are putting a dummy view in there so 
all made an error, error state and uh, it can hold whatever errors we have in our uh, in our search bar okay. we are displaying that text underneath our search bar the whole search bar uh, we can style it with however we want and uh, here i'm just quickly going with the style Okay, now we have our label. Now we can show the error of whatever was wrong with the input in the search bar. Basically, I'm just putting a constraint. If the error state is not null, then show this label. And if it's null, then don't show this label. <laughs> Very smart. I'll just quickly go ahead and Google of the regular expressions which are basically there to uh, match alphabets in a string. So uh, when I take a string from the search bar, I'll go and match it with our regular expression. And if our string contains only alphabets, then it's a valid string. And if it just contains something else that we don't need, I'm, I mean, basically you can put your logic, whatever your logic is here. Uh, I'm just allowing my search bar to only have alphabets and spaces and obviously backspaces. Here you can set the message you want to show the user in case the query was wrong. And uh, here I've set the, set the limit of the text of the query to 12. So basically if the characters are more than 11 then you can show an error message. I have put these random constraints just to show you that, that you can put any constraints, any validations on your search bar. So uh, these are just to give you an idea. Now you can see me trying the search bar and how good it is working in every case. Uh, I entered alphabets and it was, it was working fine. Then I entered a numeric number and it was not working fine obviously. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching and if you have any positive feedback then you can leave it down below.